Hello. <laughs> so, uh, this is Mini Fridge. I'm Andrew Rita. And I'm Kristen Plesko. And our piece to... Whoa. <laughs> What's happening? That was our laughing. Let's minimize that. Yeah. Uh, so our piece today comes from Eugene Park. Um, this was actually the very first thing that we were ever sent. And, uh, yeah. so we definitely wanted to go back, um... A bit of different messages in here, but they essentially say, uh, put some old art in as well, so feel free to rip any of them to shreds, and then, uh, the other one was just like, you can, you guys can laugh at the other two, because they're entertaining to listen to. <laughs> so the one we picked is the one titled Animalistic, and, um... And it sure is. It, <laughs> we, when we first saw this, we, 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 def- we laughed a little bit, and it's, it's not, <laughs> it's not so much that it's... It's bad. It's just it's a, a very like cliche sort of thing. Yeah, like look at the, the animal inside. <laughs> I'm Brrr, right. My you mask know. is hidden, but I'm half animal. So you, you know? think like half of her nose is human, or, or the other half is just like a tiger? Nose? I think it's like animorphs. Uh, <laughs> you know, I think it's like she's Rachel. You know, so she's beautiful and always looks good. Was Rachel the, was Rachel the one that had the tiger? Yeah. No, Rachel was the one with the bear. Cassie was the one with the It was the wolf. Jake with the tiger. Yeah, Jake was with the tiger. Tobias was the hot because he fucked up. And uh, <laughs> and who was the other one? Marco? Uh, Marcos was the gorilla. I thought that was stupid. I I, I am biased I, against gorillas because they look like terrifying racist, people. But... Well, what, what race is was Marco? He was black. He's like half No, black. he wasn't. Yeah. Was he? Yeah. Because his mom was a visser. I don't know what that means. Whatever. Okay, so <laughs> let's not get into the politics of fucking We were alive animorphs. in the 90s, just so you know. We both really liked Animorphs, and that has screwed our lives <laughs> over from here on out. <laughs> <laughs> I think the thing that puts me off is her, like, human eye is bigger than the cat eye. Or they're, like, supposed to be the same, but I guess maybe it's just, like, the black sclera around the cat eye makes the eye look even smaller. Scl- I thought it was just skin. Honestly, like, the animals don't really have scleras. Now, well, if you look, just look up Tiger Eye. I'm sure he... Yeah. Ah! See, I, I really want, ew. like, some of those all-white... Those are... Ew! Exactly. No! Also, is that a picture of Marilyn Manson, just randomly? Probably. Marilyn Manson. I don't like shit. the black ones. Those are gross. I actually, like no, I, I do really like... I've heard they're an absolute bitch to actually put in your eyes. Uh, that's what I wanted to do for one of my Halloween things, was just get a couple of those, like, all-black contact hard to lenses. Through, right? Um, well, the black, the black ones, ones actually no. black ones are fine. Um, it's the white ones that you are literally blind. That looks like it would... If you got something stuck under your eye, you were completely screwed. I just I just <laughs> wanted to come to work normal and then just have the fucking black contacts <laughs> in and just freak the fuck. But the thing is, is those black contacts are about $245. Yeah, there's no way I would yeah. ever want to... Joke know. can only go... <laughs> But yeah, if you look up, just look up Tiger Eye. So, like, I don't think those are sclera. I think that it's literally tiger the... eye. Like, actual eyes. I think it's literally just the skin around the tiger. No, it's black. Black sclera. Well, That's see, the no, thing but, you were talking about, that, like, chimpanzees are freaking freaking you no, out but, because they have black sclera. But even even near the tear ducts, that's, that doesn't look like a sclera to me. That looks like a piece of skin. Well, yes, this part's skin, but this part... Oh, I guess it's so. It's definitely black sclera. I always think it's shadow. I never really think of it as, as the disgusting huh, sclera. Eyes. Chimpanzees have terrifying eyes, though. Like, jeez. Ugh. Ugh. There's a lot of bad artwork here. Um, so, <laughs> I, I guess the other one is the face is just like, mm, like real sympathetic, but like, she has oh, a I'm terrifying cat eye. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Or a lynx eye. And they, they're also a victim of the, we have to paint every single strand of hair. Yeah. Mm. Also, it's the victim of we must have hair shine perfectly. Like, it's just not a very realistic... Impeccable. I'm, like, squat. I'm basically, like, squatting on this chair a little bit, and it's... it's not a little bit. You're just... I still like that, that one, like, the picture I posted on Twitter, <laughs> you're just, like... Do people actually say anything like about it? Like, two people... Uh, somebody said that we were the, the epitome of professionalism or something. Good. That's... Because we are. Oh, <laughs> no, definitely. It's, I'm definitely not just recording in my room in a small table directly next to my computer that always has crap on I it. I think that's literally, like, 99% of podcasts, even the most professional ones. We benefit from having, actually, a good microphone. You do. It's, you do have a good microphone. I thank you, Kickstarter, last year, so... Bam. Yep. But yeah. I'm never doing an audiobook ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um I, I like this tiger eye, like the, the pupil of the tiger eye goes like all the way up. It's... Yeah, pu- they have round pupils for some reason. Tigers do have round pupils. Oh they do. 
Yeah, that, it's only smaller cats that have uh, that have uh, slits. <laughs> Sorry, I just came across a person in like a, a fucking tiger bikini. It's like yeah, ah, mo- most big cats. It's not have, tiger have, at all. Because tigers have round peoples too, and uh, so do um, I think some of the other like lynxes. I believe also have round peoples. Um, do lions? Lions do have round peoples. Why? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, they're, they're today very... I learned that big cats don't have slitty eyes. Oh, you thought they had slitty eyes? I thought they were angry, and thus had the slitty eyes. No. Oh, no, it's... Where's it's... Dragon Andrea? I put her away. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... Yeah. yeah. No, if okay. you look up Link size, I also believe they're round. So. I believe you... I'm pretty sure. Well, look it up. I, I'm not positive. Yeah, mostly. They're sort of pointy. No, they're, they're not, pretty they're round. They're not round. Yeah, but they're they're ovoid. They're they're not. It's not like they're, a giant. Slit. They're like a mix. They're like sort of slitty and sort of round. They're like a diamond. They got like diamonds. Well, like at night they will be like tinier, but Aww. when they, but when they're round, see it's like very. But see, compared to like a domestic cat eye. Yeah. Why do domestic cats have slit eyes? That's weird. Demons. Well, also demons, but you know. Anyway, so. <laughs> So the other thing is, I, it's like the fucking Pokeball in the background, like the pixelated Pokeball. I, <laughs> I don't understand. I was wondering what that was. To me, it looks like a like a macro view of a butterfly wing, like all the scales and stuff. I, I think the colors are, are fairly interesting. The the sort of like giant wiggly texture brush, I don't dig. It looks a lot like a like a Mondrian piece or something, or like a like Duesenberg. And see, that is a really douchebag art answer, but literally... I have no idea what you're talking about. The, the people who did, like, the squ- the squares... Mondrian did, like, the, the primary colors and, like, the black and white, and they were, like, squares and stuff. Look up Mondrian. Or, or Duesenberg. Uh, you know. Mondrian. I don't think Mondragon. there's two big... I think it's just one of... Mondu. Oh, this asshole. <laughs> it's a, it this is incredibly shit, important for graphic design. Whatever. Like, so, <laughs> okay, apparently, there you go. Duesenberg also used color similar to that. I, I assume he did. I, I think, I just think it looks like a Pokeball. And it's just like some sort of musty shadow realm. <laughs> I'll send you to the shadow realm. Yeah, it's, it's just like, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Well, like there's yeah. no context to it. She is literally a head floating in like a. She also has the tiniest like jaw, head thing. Also, it's... like for some reason, under her jaw, it's super light again. Yeah, I mean, so she she sort of looks like she's coming out of like a metal aluminum tube. <laughs> <laughs> kind of does like she's like she's Mario, like yeah. she's just coming out of a Mario pipe. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? There's also oh, that those are supposed to be wrinkles. Like I just thought that she had like these weird lines. Underneath here. <laughs> also, this, like, orange coming across just looks like well, she, she had, like, Cheetos in her mouth, and then she just spit them all over her, her tube setting. Yeah, it's weird. Like, I don't understand why she has, like, no lighting on her face, but her pupils are huge. Like, uh, cause if you had light shining in your face, your pupils are going to be as tiny as they can possibly be. That's also true. Yeah, so... And also, it would help to show the beastly nature. It, it looks like she honestly <laughs> has, like, an eye injury. Like, because, like, her, her, her cat pupil is so much, so much smaller, it looks like she literally has gotten, like, if you get injured, like, sometimes you're... It's a brain damage. It's a, it's a, a symptom of a concussion. Is your pupils don't dilate. Well, not both of them at once, I mean just one. Like, I've seen people who just have, like, one that can't close. This is the weirdest Yeah, it shit. tends to be, like, a head injury. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, I feel bad... No, for, well, I didn't know. It. I didn't know if it was like a. I, I mean, you literally it, if you trauma. fuck up if you fuck yeah. up the eye really bad. Yeah, it'll stop doing that. But for the most part, if you have like one eye that just doesn't focus at all, mm-hmm. it tends to be either you've you've taken some sort of glaucoma medicine <laughs> that immobilizes it because my I, grandmother has to do I've that. And she that. looks like she's stoned out of her brains. I've around. taken that medication before, man. It, glaucoma? No. Well, the ones that make your eyes dilate super huge. Yeah. It was for for an eye exam. They they made me watch a super sweet like nineteen eighties computer generated video while I while I had to while I had my Why were your eyes dilated? I had to dilate them for I, it was for like some sort of test. They needed to see it was f- testing for glaucoma. They thought I might have glaucoma. That's that's not the that's something else. That's not the same stuff. The glaucoma stuff lasts for like six to eight hours. Yeah. That's I'm pretty that sure that's does what it not, was. <laughs> that is so fucking dangerous to put in regular eyes. 
Like, they would never do that. Well, it was like a pupil dilating thing. I believe it was a pupil dilating okay, thing. Well, but just you know. having, like, fucking dilated-ass pupils, like, like you're coming out of some room. sort of brain surgery. I don't know. I think it, it, well, maybe it only lasted, like, an hour or two. I'll have to ask my mom. She, she would probably they remember. They wouldn't do something that, it's like, let me just test your knee by cutting open your knee. Like, it, it's, it's such a drastic step over. Like, they wouldn't do that. They had to, they had to expand my pupil for something. So. We did the, the, the puff of air thing that makes your eye freak out. And that's yeah. That's how it tested glaucoma for me. Well, yeah. Except I didn't realize they were doing it and I fell out of my chair because I was scared. Yeah, well, and that was not that long ago. Th- this was after one of the <laughs> tests. I had to make sure I didn't have something in my eye because I think I might have had like a. Uh, I had been hit in the head with a softball at one point near near there, but I don't think that was the reason. But I think one of my tests might have come back ambiguous, so they had to do something a further test to make mm. sure I didn't have something. I didn't. My eyes are fine. Okay, just shit. <laughs> I I do like how she has nor lighting right across like yeah, the orange for some reason. Like it, this seems that? like a type of the type of thing that it could definitely be pushed a lot farther. Like I like the sort of bright colors, but it's I, I would definitely like to see like a lot more of like a gray tone sort of between it. Something where it's not just like straight bright to bright to bright because it doesn't have like any sort of resting point. Like everything's bright. Yeah. You know, like it needs a place to, to just cool the fuck off and not be super bright, but it's, I don't know, it just seems, like, really flat, especially with, like, the light textures across stuff. Mm. It could just, it could use a little variation, and that would tie it a lot together, because, like, this bright red, and this bright orange, and this other bright orange, and this bright blue, and this white, it it makes me sort of nauseous to look at it. Yeah. And it's mostly the, like... It's mostly just, like, this. This trifecta of, like, this bright blue, this bright orange, and this (laughs) eye. It it makes me is hard to, it's also really hard to focus. Why is she slightly off center? Yeah. Why just... is why anything in this page? Like my my question is mostly like, like, why is she slightly tilted? Why is her human eye so big? What? Why does she have a red hood? Maybe it's the real little red hiding the riding hood. Also, she's part tiger. <laughs> I don't know. Her mom is actually just a tiger. <laughs> Grandma, what big stripes you have? I maybe maybe it's like Tiger Man. <laughs> you should link to Tiger. You need to link to that. I it's- will. Um, so one of the greatest things I've ever found on the internet is a poser. Uh, it's the program poser. It's a poser comic slash book. It's not a comic book. It's like a like a web. It seems like a it seems like a PowerPoint presentation done in poser. It's kind of like you know, like really old '90s like websites when they tell a story that have like a couple of pictures. Oh yeah, but I bet that shit's the story. Up. It has like a, a view counter on it and, and everything. That's and how it's, you know it's. Good. I was looking for tigers for some reason, and uh, I came across Tiger Man, and he's just this terrifying like poser thing. He's like a of a, and he was like a tiger. He was the last tiger on the earth, and then Gaia, spirit of the earth, changed him <laughs> into a man. And he just has these terrifying lips, these like these terrifying fucking hair lips. And he he's just he's the most. It's, he's just a man, but he just has a face. He looks like a shaved cat on his face a little. Yeah, bit. he looks like, like a, a shaved cat face. And then it's just him like fucking around. And then he learns how to do magic. And then he saves the world. And it's it's hilarious. There's yeah. no other way. They How sell t-shirts. How long did we go through? Oh. He sells like t-shirts and stuff. Not, does not, he? not, not, not in the. I think he does sell like like. Are uh, you thinking of Joe Exotic? No, Joe Exotic definitely sells stuff. But <laughs> I, I had one of those dreams, and I'm like, we were, we were just talking about the best things we find online. And I'm like, let me show you Tiger Man and Joe Exotic. Uh, Joe Exotic is what might be a a gay porn star, but also <laughs> he he sings and he runs a zoo. We're not sure if he's there's essentially or gay. there's essentially just a picture of well he's in like assless chaps so yeah he has to be there's no like, way I, he's definitely playing up to like a like a romantic bear crowd and not in like a like an animal way like which yeah, is fine he was I selling don't like a lot of he but was a lot it, of underwear the, the best thing is men. well yeah that too the best thing is on his site you can get like a link to his CD and it, it's done in like it has like word art. Uh, one of the pictures on there just has him, like, blankly cuddling a panda. Like, a giant... Like, a man in a panda costume is just hugging him behind him. I may or may not have had that as my desktop. Yeah, that was my desktop while. for a long time at work. And... There's also one where he was, like, a... He was just, like, staring. I think it was one of the... The one with the rose. Yeah, the one he's where he's just, just looking. 
it. It's like, okay. That's... But yeah, on his website, he has a large range of products you can buy from Ty- uh, from Joe Exotic um, hot pants to Joe Exotic, like, bag of, of Candy. caramel corn. <laughs> yeah, it's really <laughs> weird. He has everything branded, like, to a really bizarre. Yeah, it's like Joe Exotic candles and pretty much anything that you could offer as a product. He decided to put his name on every single thing, and it just yeah. leads to this... The it's stuff beautiful. you get on, like, Oriental Trading Company. Like, that sort of it's, junky... It, what's junky. Oriental Trading Company? Oh, my mom My mom uses it a lot for, like, uh, Girl Scouts craft things yeah. and stuff in her CCD class, because she It, it reminds me that. a lot of, uh, but, uh, whatchamacallit. What's that place that... Cracker Barrel. City? No, oh, Cracker Barrel. Oh, Cracker Barrel. Yeah, it is kind of Cracker Barrel. Yeah, it's just, like, all the products at Cracker Barrel, plus Hot Pants, also... Like, gay <laughs> Cracker Barrel. Also, there's just pictures of him, <laughs> like, spooning a giant panda. It's the most... It's... It, I'll link both of them. You should have the picture of him spooning the panda just up in the oh, video yeah. while we're talking. Oh yeah, about no, this. I will. Oh, definitely, God, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll I'll put all those up. And your favorite scene from uh, Tiger Man. <laughs> <laughs> we we which started is, going through that. Which is probably the jaguar one. When he becomes like Jaguar Man. No, no, he has a pet jaguar. Don't mean to, cover your ears if you don't want to spoil it. He has like a pet jaguar, and then the jaguar dies and becomes a ghost, but then it just becomes a person or something <laughs> like. I need it's to read the while. story. I'm not up to date on uh, Tiger Man canon. I read the entire thing. I'm and sorry. And if there was a Tiger Man t-shirt, I would buy the shit you out of it. You can literally probably so just if that creator is down. if that creator is listening, which, the, what what a weird coincidence might be, but that person was listening and they made a t-shirt and they want to send us a link at uh, fridgeartpodcast at gmail.com, I will buy the shit out of it because... That would be one of the best nothing, things. Nothing makes me happier than obscure hipster <laughs> fucking Tiger Man. I don't Man even know t-shirt. if I consider that a hipster. It just seemed like nobody it was knows about it. That's what the hipster part is. Oh, is that is yeah. that what it is? Yeah. Okay. So, okay. With uh, with Tiger 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 Lass here, um, yeah, it's it's sort of like a mix of the anatomy that was included and the anatomy left out. That's the most bizarre part. So, like around the eyes and everything, like there's there's no sort of bridge in the nose, but then there's like a pit. With like a fatty pocket below the one eye towards the nose. Yeah. On the human side. And then the the cat side, like the angle of the cat eye is different than the human eye. <laughs> she and is, uh, so she like is the looking. nose is going towards the left, but the other nose is straight down. And it's it's just really bizarre. It it seems like there was either there's a character that looks like this, there's a character that that changes between the two, or this is just as pretentious as the, the fucking fridger that we put up last. Although this would be before it. Uh, <laughs> it, it like, spoilers, but uh, yeah, it's it's just sort of a weird mixture of, of like texture and not texture, and then some sort of Art Deco shit going on in the background, and I don't even different colors, and then I believe she just the term has, is constructivism. She just has it? like this like added color carrot thing across yeah, her face. like, why is there blue in the bottom right, like, right next to her? Like, why is she tilted? What is happening? <laughs> She's just existing in some sort of... of like, terif- drug world. <laughs> like, it's okay, just I like just... A- look at her! Look at her eyes! Oh, please look do at her. Wow, those are some lids. She has... Humans also generally have more sclera than that. That's how we can tell her eyes are tracking. She's got... Like, she just has, like... What is this, like, black shit coming out of the side of her eyes. Uh, I think that's something that could happen. I don't think that's... Well, no. Into, no, there's something going on. And then there's is just, like, more white... eyelids? <laughs> is that... I'm oh, sorry. No, no, no. Is that more, like... Is that, like, just, like, a eyelash that's super thinking, thick or something? I don't know. Like... You know what it is? I think it might have been that the eye was drawn, like, with a... That sort of jag... Like, that old anime style, where it has sort of jagged out, and then it was later just made, like, a round pupil. Maybe. But then they just didn't remove the other thing. Oh... I, I honestly have no idea. Oh, maybe, you mean like the, the she Astro just has... Boy kind of look, where it has a little chip taken out of it? No, well, just like, like it originally, let me draw it out, it was just like, like this, you know, and it just had like this fucking oh, dagger Oh, part I know in. exactly what you mean, like the, the weird stylistic thing anime yeah. does sometimes. Yeah. yeah, like like that, and then it looks like it was just made into like a circle later, and then nothing was changed. Yeah, no, that But then actually... there's just like weird rings. I don't know. I don't know what's happening with her eye, but she has very detailed eyebrows. Yeah, that I man, like. her her like hair is so weirdly detailed. It looks like a three D rendering, but like a really bad one. That's like you know just like yeah, really, like, like a thick strand of hair. Movie. 
Basically like, like from Blender or something. Well, Blender can actually or look poser. pretty nice. Yeah, so, there you go. Poser. Just like Tiger Man. Just like but Tiger Man has no hair. Tiger Man. <laughs> just like your favorite Tiger Man. Yeah. Also, why is like her her hair strand not casting like a shadow on her face? Because it looks like it should, judging from yeah, like there's the just a lot of white light coming behind it. The lighting is very ambiguous and not consistent. Yeah. So I would maybe even take a reference photo of yourself in a uh, take a tiger. picture of your mom again and just have a have a hood on and also have a thing on. Just just give her one of those Phantom of the Opera masks, except painted up like a tiger. Slap it on her face. <laughs> Surprise Sing for me, my mother of music. <laughs> Sing for me. <laughs> I don't even think of anything. Um, <laughs> do you have anything else for this? No, I think, uh, you know, like, the colors are interesting. I really just don't understand the, like, context behind. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, like, it, it, for me, it's There's mostly the context. Like, it seems like it was just made for the sake of, I, I don't know, like, it doesn't have a context or anything. It's just it seems like kind of like fine art when someone does something really abstract and like it, it should stand on its own. But I just don't get it. Mm. Like I kind of just don't get it. Yeah, that's the thing. Is like I I get like the the either it's some sort of you know ferocity and dangerous wild animal thing coming out. Also, she's a ninja. But like I <laughs> yeah I I don't quite get it and. Just those eyes are drifting so far apart from yeah, each other. Yeah, like, if she's supposed to have, like, a gentle look in her face, like, the the problem is because it's just a head, we can't see that, and we can't see her face. Yeah, there's not enough if context you, to... If you said, like, if she had a different pose, or you could see her hands, especially her shoulders. Hands. Yeah. Her hands. Yeah, if you can... The hands tell a little, <laughs> a lot more emotion than, uh... I just, just, like, this pose, and then just, like... Well, yeah, we'll obviously pull out quite dun, a bit. Dun, 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 but if you want to show her dun, dun, gentle, it's a lot easier with, like, a pose if you can't show her facial expression, because yeah. humans... Cannot subtle cues. It's hard to yeah, it's hard to th- tell what's going on. That's here. the thing is, uh, you can read a lot of a person's eyes, but these eyes are very blank and sort of, you know, yeah. drugged out and just. It, it's really, and eyes. that's honestly really hard to do. And honestly, I think an easier way to tell emotion, especially if she has like a half animal face, is is with a pose and yeah, not just like. a floating head. A give floating... her, a, give her a fucking cat here while we're at it. She kind of looks like a like a rogue or something, like just like a. You know, Take me plus down one plus one. Two tiger. Your face road. becomes a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm good and I'm hungry. Half, half tiger aura. <laughs> half tiger will travel. Um. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you guys want to send your stuff to us, we're fridgeartpodcast at gmail dot com. Um. If we don't take your stuff right away, don't be despaired. Like I said, this person originally sent us this. Is the very very first email we ever gotten for this. So yeah. uh, we go Sometimes back we, and we we, yeah. s- we play around, figure stuff out. We so. usually just go from from email to email in a unordered fashion. Yeah, like we we have some we, roll, that we definitely want to want to visit and some people we want to get back to that sent us mm-hmm. more than one and yeah, lots of interesting stuff. We got plenty of people, but yeah. if you would like your stuff critiqued or if you have a silly picture that you drew that is um, has super deep meaning. Yeah, and by super deep, I mean please don't send us anything that means a lot to you. <laughs> yeah, unless you're you're okay with it being torn apart. Cause, yeah, like I mean, this person said, we don't care if you tear this apart. Yeah, if, okay. it, if it's like I drew this for my for my grandfather because he died. That yeah, time. yeah, and it's like please don't send us those. I don't care how bad they look. Just we my will not entire touch- family died by tiger attack, so I drew this half half tiger lady. You know, yeah. <laughs> please God. don't please don't do something like that because we're gonna feel really bad. Send us stuff that you're only willing to part with peacefully. You, you don't mind being torn down and make, made fun of. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. Uh, so I've been Andrew Riddick. <laughs> and I've been Kristen Plusko. Good. And uh, <laughs> see you later.